Hey everyone, welcome back. The review you've been waiting for, the Eversolo DMP A8. I've had it here for the last few weeks. I've been comparing it to other streamers. I've compared it to the Hi-Fi Rose RS-130 flagship streamer, which I have declared the finest sounding digital music streamer I've ever heard. How does the new A8 do it all wonder compare to the RS-130? Ever Solo is making a splash. They're making a statement. They're pushing everyone else out of the way and saying, look at what we can do for less money. There's always that excitement in the body, in the room when opening a new piece of hi-fi gear. For me, music is a way of stress management, of happiness, of peace, of serenity. I listen each and every day to my system, to music, and it's just always been such a huge part of my life. I get to experience many pieces of electronics and gear, and I have to say, Ever Solo has really made an impact here with their streamers. So sit back and relax as I tell you about my experience using this streamer over the past few weeks. I tested it as a preamp, I tested it as a streamer, I tested it as a streamer and DAC, and I compared it to the Hi-Fi Rose RS-130. This is gonna be fun. So six months ago or so, I don't remember how many months ago it was, it feels like yesterday, I reviewed the Eversolo DMP A6. I declared it the finest streamer you can buy for the money. Thing came in at like $856. It was a beautiful little package, had a DAC, a streamer, a beautiful interface and display, and a wonderful control app. Now, the DMP A8 is an upgrade to the A6, and I know a lot of you just bought the A6, and you're like, dang, an upgrade already? So you're paying more than double to get these new features. But man, this is quite the product. It is a preamp, it is a streamer, it is a DAC, it is a music server, and it has just about every feature anyone could ask for. It has Tidal Connect, Spotify Connect, if you wanna stream using those apps. Uh, you can also put in your credentials into the Eversolo Control app for pretty much any streaming service out there. Now this has a flagship DAC from AKM, and that is said to recreate, do the conversion in a way that is perfect. Uh, but, and what I can tell you right now in the beginning is the DAC inside of the A8 is stunning. This is such an improvement over the ESS DAC in the A6, which sounded a little bit flat, a little sterile at the end of the day. It was still very good and it's not a bad DAC, but the one here, the AKM DAC in this, sounds really, really nice. It's more refined, it's a little fuller in the bass, has a little bit of that magic dust sprinkled onto it, which the A6 did not. And that is why in my review for the A6, I said I preferred to use it as a streamer into a good DAC. Going that route was really, really good. Now using the Eversolo DMP A8 as a streamer going into my DAC sounds a little bit better than the A6 using the DAC inside of the A8 versus my external DAC sounds really, really good as well. This is one of the nicest sounding DACs I've heard built into any streamer. Uh, it bests the Node X, for example. Um, it bests the Hi-Fi Rose 150B. Uh, any DAC I've heard with a built, or any streamer I've heard with a built-in DAC, the A8 has surpassed that for me. The built-in DAC from AKM is stellar, stunning sounds really, really good. If you're getting a little bit of sound from your A6 that's a little flat or a little bright maybe, um, a little lean, the A8 will plump things up and deliver a fuller experience, more refinement. So the DAC inside is really, really good. And I'd say it compares to DACs in the 1500 to $1,800 range. What about using it as a preamp? Yes, this is a fully analog preamp. It has inputs and an output, uh, and it, as well as XLR outputs, and you can hook it up to your amplifier, which I tested it with a Pass Labs X250.8, and it did wonderful. Now, you're gonna have some clicking with the volume uh, when you turn it up, but that's not an issue, uh, because once you set it, you don't have to mess with it and it's not going to uh, intrude on your listening. Now the DMP A8, I think what makes it special, and this is a special piece. Now I'm gonna tell you what I think of it compared to the $5,200 Hi-Fi Rose in a minute, 
But what makes this a little special, in my opinion, are the dual Fentmo clocks that are built in. This, in my opinion, adds refinement to the sound. It's eliminating that jitter and making everything sound really, really nice. Casing is larger than the A6. It still has a six inch touchscreen display. Uh, it has the VU meters, which actually move to the music. So the DMP A8 has a fully balanced analog circuit. Quite impressive. It has a dual mode power supply, a digital and switching power supply. So this is really a pretty good upgrade from the A6, but it doesn't really diminish the A6 because the A6 is still a fantastic product for the money. The DMP A8 is a fantastic product for the money as well, but it also kicks above its price point. I think Eversolo did a fantastic job with this streamer. It just has everything you could want. It has I2 squared if you want to go to your DAC. It has a coax out. It has USB out. And uh, the app experience is beautiful. Eversolo made a perfect control app here. I prefer to almost any other manufacturer's control app for controlling your streamer. The user interface is very easy to understand, very easy to learn, and all the things you need are in the app. You can even cast the screen, the display screen, right to your phone, and it goes into landscape mode, and you can see a perfect recreation of the screen of the DMP A6. Now there's the VU meters, which some think are gimmicky, some like them, but they actually do move to the music. Uh, there's no delay there, so that's awesome. There's three or four to choose from. There's also spectrum analyzers, which looks like an old graphic EQ display. I kind of like that one, but then there's the main screen where you have choices of three or four different screens to choose from. I like the one where it shows a little record spinning, just gives you a good vibe when you're listening. So all of these things uh, in the A8 are fantastic to see in an under $2,000 piece because let's face it, most manufacturers today or many manufacturers today, not all, are releasing products that are way overpriced. I see it all the time. I try to avoid them. If you see something that's expensive, it better deliver the goods well above and beyond something that costs less. I don't want to pay five grand for something that's going to deliver the same performance as a two grand piece, right? So I applaud Ever Solo for releasing the A6 and the A8 uh, at these price points. So some of you bought the A6 Master Edition. I've never heard the Master Edition, so I can only compare to the A6. Um, if I were to compare it straight out to the A6, I would say the A8 is well worth the cost because you're getting that much nicer DAC. So the Eversolo DMP A8 has a dual power supply, a digital and linear power supply. And I gotta tell you, it's very quiet. I don't hear any noise coming from it at all. So those of you wondering if it's gonna produce a buzz or noise, absolutely none from the A8. Another thing I like about the DMP A8 is it uses hand-picked audio components. Take a look inside of this thing and it is clean as a whistle. It's very impressive to look at for this price point. And I think that's what Ever Solo is doing. They're making a splash in this industry saying we can produce something that's going to be an audiophile grade product, but you're not going to pay audiophile prices for it. That's why I like Ever Solo. Um, I'm a huge fan of what they're doing, though I do feel they released the A8 a little quickly after the A6, which may upset some people who purchased the A6. But again, it's a higher tiered product. It's gonna cost you double the money. So it depends on your budget. A6 is still a fine streamer and DAC. The A8 is elevated as a preamp streamer and DAC with more features and more refinement. So let's talk about how it compares to the flagship Hi-Fi Rose RS-130 digital music streamer. The Hi-Fi Rose is a beautiful beast. It's big, it's heavy. It's probably double the size of the A8. It has a much larger screen and it just has a vibe of luxury with those jewel buttons on the top. It's a stunning piece to look at. In regards to sound, it is absolutely the finest streamer I've ever heard. And yes, streamers do make a difference. When listening to the Hi-Fi Rose versus the A8 as a streamer only bypassing the DAC of the A8 going into my Daniel Hertz Maria integrated amp, which has the Mighty Cat chip, which does DAC duties. 
which is a mind-blowing good DAC in there, um, I heard the differences clearly between the A8 and the 130. Now, the Hi-Fi Rose RS-130 has a big, grand scale of sound. It just envelops me in the room with a richness and a warmth, and it also provides those details, the airiness. You get that reverberation from the studio very clearly. It's a very magical piece, but you're going to have to pay for that magic at $5,200. The A8 in sound quality as a streamer going into the same DAC, same speaker, same setup is a little bit, a teeny bit flatter sounding. It's not as three dimensional as the Rose, but would we expect it to be at such a lower price point? So there are areas that I prefer the A8 to the Hi-Fi Rose RS-130. For one, the Hi-Fi Rose RS-130 does not do and will never do or use Tidal Connect. Uh, you have to go through their app. And with their last update, something broke, it seems. Every time I go to use Tidal in the Hi-Fi Rose app, it signs me out and I have to re-sign back in. So I'm waiting for another update from Rose to fix that, which they always do and they always improve their uh, products. But the Rose, if you go onto the Rose forums, a lot of people have been having little bugs here and there with most of the Hi-Fi Rose products. The Hi-Fi Rose app is not as good as the app of the Ever Solo. So the Ever Solo wins in the control uh, game between the two. Sound quality, I'd say the Hi-Fi Rose gives a 10 to 15% better sound quality, but you're only gonna notice that if you have a system that is capable of revealing it. I'd say for 99% of people, the DMP A8 can be an end game product. And that's quite remarkable. You have a beautiful design. You have a beautiful touchscreen display that's crisp and clear. You have the dual power supply, the dual clocks to keep everything refined. The flagship AKM DAC that sounds beautiful and immersive and really gets you, gets you those goosebumps where the A6 doesn't, right? So you're getting into goosebump territory with that AKM, AKM DAC in the A8. Uh, it also comes with a remote control. You have um, the analog outputs that are single-ended or balanced. This thing is fully loaded. I mean, there's nothing that I can think of that's missing from the A8. It's just a beautiful piece all the way around and priced very right. Now, if I were to recommend a all-in-one streamer in DAC today. There are so many to choose from. Hi-Fi Rose is making some very unique products, but they're a little more on the pricey side. Um, there's many other brands out there. You have your lower end, like your WinPro Plus. You have your Blue Sound Nodes. Uh, you have streamers and DACs from so many companies. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Uh, PS Audio just released the Air Lens, which I actually did get to hear but only for a very short amount of time. I will say that if I were to recommend a streamer and DAC today, and I'd say under the $3,000 range, it would be the Eversolo DMP A8. It is a remarkable device that I can't see anyone being disappointed with. If you're someone who bought an A6 or an A6 Master Edition and you just love that piece, the A8 is a step above those pieces. Well, at least the A6. I haven't heard the A6 Master, but I, I would have to assume it's above that piece as well, just simply because of the DAC and the features that you're getting in the preamp area of the device. So as a preamp, it sounded really, really good into a Passlabs X250.8. Uh, it had a nice, forceful sound, great bass, a little bit of airiness, no complaints at all in that area. So one other thing about the DMP A8 is you can hook it up via Ethernet, which is how I have this one hooked up. You can go wireless with Wi-Fi. You can use it for Bluetooth. One other thing about the DMP A8 is it has DSP slash EQ. You can go into the app and if the sound is not to your liking, you want a little more bass, you want a little more treble, you want a little more mids, you can fine tune it with the DSP section of the app. So they have thought of everything here, everything in one box but one box that really has, I wanna say no compromise. I'm trying to think of a compromise here in the Eversolo DMP A8. Eversolo is making a splash, they're making a statement, they're pushing everyone else out of the way and saying, look at what we can do 
for less money. We can give you something better for less money. And that's exactly what they have done in the A8. Highly, highly recommended. This is a beautiful box, a beautiful streamer, and one that I can't imagine anyone being disappointed with. So there you go, the long anticipated review of the A8. There's a few other reviews on YouTube right now. Check them out. Some are probably going to be more technical. Um, but yeah, check out what everyone else is saying about it and uh, see if it might be a match for you. Uh, I'm not sure when they're shipping this or if it's available now for order or pre-order, but I'm sure you can find that info online. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to the Ever Solo website page on the A8, which has every detail imaginable on it. So uh, yeah, you can do some more research on it, but two thumbs up for the Ever Solo DMP A8, a fantastic hi-fi audiophile music product. <laughs> Thank you.